people have been hassling me about doing this review, so I finally decided why not do it. So obviously if you read the title, it is going to be on Cardus 2010, or you can see it a little better down there, Cardus. So we'll take out the little thing here. Um, this one is actually only one type of tobacco. Um, previous years have been you know mixed tobaccos. This one's just Javanese sun cured tobacco, and it's flavored with bativa arak. Um, you know it's uh, comes with a really nice box. I will unwrap it for you here. Um, so it has like this smells delicious. It smells amazing. Just the box. Um, so it has this like tie around it. So I'll slide this off. <clears throat> Um, really nice box top comes off like that and uh, if you can see has a piece of porcelain in there porcelain plate or something and it's from a shipwreck um, off the coast of Goth Gothenburg I am um, let me see uh, in 1745 it was the the East Indian Gothenburg's last voyage and it was salvaged in 1905 so supposedly this, um, the reason why they use this stuff is because it is in Gothenburg and um, the East India companies trail eastward in search of the flavors and aromas that would that that make this snooze. Um, so they took the same trail that this ship was taking um, back then. The little booklet is really really cool. The pictures are like nice and you know they're like coming off the page a little bit they're nice and smooth and nice and bubbly um, they did a really nice job with this so you open it here and you see a little red cap and you say okay and you take it and you go like that and this is where your snooze is at I don't know why it has some dust on it oh it's just it's just the wood shavings when they they cut it out there so can't smell the tobacco really so what I'll do is I'll pop this open wow it doesn't smell that great it doesn't smell bad but it doesn't smell amazing wow this cut is the craziest cut I've ever seen Let's see if you can see this. Look at the cut of that. There's like a stem right there or something. Yeah. It's such a crazy cut. There's such. Since it is hand cut, like all the other cardices, it's just it's just an odd cut. So this is 100 grams of snooze packed into this little thing. So let me bake a Prilla here, um, if I can. And I'll throw it in. Wow. It's, it, it smells weird. And I'm getting a stem in my snooze. It actually bakes together really well. It's not as spongy as the previous years. Let me get a little more here. But it feels interesting. Very interesting. So it bakes it together pretty well. Let me throw up. So, I'm going to let that marinate in there. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit little more about Cardis. So, there's a lot about this uh, snooze. Let me make sure I don't get my hands all messed up in it. So there's a lot about the snooze that uh, is very interesting actually. They, they, this, this, this Cardis um, was released on my birthday. It took me a while to get it. I was hoping I'd get it sooner than I did. Um, but I did get it. Um, so, 
Bativa Eric. Um, I told you I would tell you what that is. Um, basically, it's a liquor distilled from sugar cane. Um, that's quite similar to a uh, rum, um, supposedly. And it's added to obviously give you some more flavor, um, added flavor to the tobacco um, to make it, you know, a little more um, like distinct and, you know, more dimensional, three dimensional, I guess you could say. <clears throat> so like I said, I really like the packaging. Um, this is actually an oak box. This, this year it's oak. Um, it smells like cypress. It smells really good. So it's 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 interesting. Um, there's a lot of history in this book about you know the ship Gothenburg and all this stuff. I'm not really gonna go into that because I'm more about the tobacco here. Um, there's a history on you know multiple sites and it's on um, the Cardus Swedish Match website, so you could check that out if you really want to. Because I'm about the tobacco here. I'm reviewing the tobacco. It's not really about the history of you know, this journey that, you know, helped make this new supposedly whatever. So, there's a lot of stuff in this tobacco. Um, not tasting really much right off, right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video right now. And I'm going to come back uh, when the flavor, you know, releases, and I will let you guys know. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so it's been uh, marinating in my mouth here for a little bit. And it has a very unique flavor. Um, it's similar to the past Cardis's, however, there's a little bit of difference. Um, the tobacco taste is not as strong. Um, it's a little more mellow, I guess. But it's still very evident. Um, you do get like a rum taste. It's a lot like the previous year's, uh, last year's rum. It has a similar rum taste to that that you get. Um, it's not too bold that it kind of kills it all, but it, it just mixes very well with the tobacco. And it just flows really good. It has a nice drip. And I just lost some. It has a nice drip that's not too, you know, not overly drippy. And it just, it just marinates in your mouth and it's, it's amazing it really is amazing um i did read another thing that this tobacco this japanese tobacco is called the ran jangan pakpai kerang jati um which is grown on the east side of the island and this is obviously as i've said before the only type of tobacco used in this uh snooze obviously it's harvested leaf by leaf um from only the middle of the plant and it's hand cut, hand shredded, um, and cured in the, in the sun. It has a lot of flavor in it. It's, it's a very mixed, um, a very mixed, mixed snooze. And it's just, all the flavors come out and they're perfectly balanced. Like Cardis always is. They do an amazing job of just balancing the flavors and making it, you know, really, really, really good. And not not one flavor overpowers the other. If you have not tried a Cardis, I suggest that you go and you purchase uh, 2010 Cardis. It is still up on your normal websites, um, northern.com, getsnoose.com, uh, buy snooze, and snooze central. I believe they all still have them in stock. It's really nice. The packaging is beautiful. Um, it's just an amazing snooze. Um, I believe it's around 79 to 85 bucks, depending on where you get it from. And it just is, it is the most expensive snooze in the world, but it is the most ex exclusive. Um, it's amazingly delicious. It's, I really like this year's Cardus. Um, it might be my favorite, just because I, like I said, I am a rum fan, and last year's rum was really good. However, this has a rum taste in it, and it's just, it's such a, a mixture of, of amazing tastes that, that it can't be beat. Um, it's the most unique snooze. It has no background flavor of any other snooze. Um, there's nothing that tastes like it. Period. Um, I really like it. 
So if you if you have the money, if you can, you know, swing that much, check it out. Um, you won't be disappointed. You will love this news. Period. So that's about it. I'm gonna keep this in for a little while longer. Try to get all the flavor out of it. I don't want to spit it out at all. It's so good. So, until next time, guys, uh, keep on snoozing. I hope you liked my final chapter of Cardis until next year. And um, it's an amazing, amazing product. So, oh, a lot of people are calling this the pirate Cardis because it, you know, has the ship and everything. But awesome stuff. Check it out. And um, until next time, guys, keep on snoozing. Peace out.